What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. We're out to go do another search and recovery today. Almost immediately after I left church this morning, went straight to the shop and got a call about another search and recovery dive. Uh, we're actually headed down to look for a bracket off a ski boat that actually holds a knee board or a wake board. Uh, lady said she come in a little too hot into her dock, hit the edge of her dock, and it broke it off. So that's what we're out here going to go look for today. So stick around with us, and we'll see if we can find it. I got a filter on it. It just broke the screws out. So you may have to get something to just kind of drill into them and twist them, but it's still in good shape. Uh, it was actually a little bit past this. It's such an incline, but that thing, uh, what, 12 feet, uh, 16 feet. And it, anytime something goes under, if it's 16 feet, it's going to be a 16 foot circumference, even something heavy. So, but that thing is probably about three or four foot out past that point in the pad. All right, guys, so we just got finished up. We had a very successful search and recovery. Um, the item that we were looking for, the, the bracket that broke off her boat, was exactly where she said it was. Um, typically speaking, when an item goes down, and the way that we conduct our searches, anytime an item goes down, whatever your depth is, that's also going to be your search radius. So if you're looking in 16 foot of water which we happen to be today you're going to have a 16 foot circle around the area where the item went down that that item could possibly be in and depending on its buoyancy characteristics the shape of it how it would have fell through the water column um, it could have been anywhere within that 16 foot radius of a circle if you will so what i did today that the even though the item was exactly where she said it was one thing that i do especially searching on an incline which i was today is i'm gonna drop down where she said it was but i'm gonna go slightly below it maybe five or six feet below it if you will uh, I, I started out in about 16 foot of water i found the object in 12 foot of water uh, now i had a good general idea of what the object weighed its descent rate whole nine yards but I always start deeper than where I need to be um, simply because my search radius is increased. And number two, you know, depending on what the bottom composition, it could have hit and actually slid down the incline. So I started lower on the incline. Then I just worked a jack stay search up and down or back and forth, if you will, on that incline. And then when I got in about 12 foot of water, I found the object. So yeah, it was a great successful dive, very easy dive. I bet I wasn't in the water maybe a minute, something like that. Um, 
so it was very easy for me to find but guys if you got any questions on how we do searches like this or got any comments please put it down in the comment section below we want to hear what's on your mind but uh as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business